2019 was an absolutely crazy year for Bolton e-bikes. So I want to tell you seven things that to me are just totally awesome that happened last year and we'll kind of review some of the videos that happened. So here's number one. This is all thanks to you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Last year, 2019, the Bolton e-bikes YouTube channel had 1.3 million views. That's a lot of people watching. Number two, apparently I started a lot of videos with the word, hey, so I'm gonna work on that. Hey everybody, Kyle from Bolton e-bikes. Hey everybody, Kyle with Bolton e-bikes here. Hey guys, I am back for another video. Hey everybody, Kyle from Bolton e-bikes back again. Hey everybody, it's another Tool Tuesday. Hey everybody, Kyle from Bolton e-bikes back for another video. Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Bolton e-bikes here. Hey everybody, Kyle from Bolton e-bikes back for another video, this time on location. Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Bolton e-bikes. Hey, it's Kyle from Bolton e-bikes. Number three, right now I'm sitting at about 21,000 subscribers on YouTube and 19,700 of you subscribed last year. So obviously there's some crazy growth that's happening. Thank you so much. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Number four, I started reviewing bikes on my channel. Not just my own bikes that I sell here at Bolton e-bikes, but bikes from other brands to give people better awareness of what's available on the market. So let's review a few of those. Normally I'm doing reviews on fat tire bikes, upgrades to bikes, making things have more power from 500 watts to 750 to 1000 watt or even more. But today I've got something a little bit different to show you. So this bike is called the E-City. I was hoping to get to this much sooner, but here it is. Time to unbox the 2019 Rad Rover. So the last one I did was on the Rad Rover, which is not a bike that I offer or sell. You can only get those from Rad Power. But this, on the other hand, is an all-wheel drive electric fat bike. That's right, all-wheel drive. You have two motors, count them, one, two. I have the Cyrusher XF770 unboxed and outside. And one thing I gotta say is it's cool looking bike. I mean, it's red and it's black and it's got these tri-spoked wheels. All right, we've got the bike unboxed. Once again, this is from Driven Bikes in Southern California. And I got to take it out for a little bit of a spin, ride it up and down the road and see what I think. And first impressions are good. I feel like with this bike, you are getting your money's worth. Outside, I have the bike turned on and I've got a little bit of a hill up towards the airport here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give this thing full throttle and see what happens. So here goes, no pedaling. And I'll try and watch the screen and see if the wattage actually jumps up as they say online. Let's go. Ooh, full speed. Probably should have checked the brakes first before I did that. So let's take it for a spin. So right now, I am on pedal assist zero. And aside from the weight, it rides really nice. Um, so flat ground, I mean, you could ride this sort of thing around just like a regular bike, no problem. Once you get to hills, of course, then you're gonna struggle a little bit. Okay, um, I know the spec said, I want to say they said 100 Newton meters of torque. I'm not sure I'm feeling that compared to other mid-drive motors. Number five, after we reviewed the bikes, we started giving them away. This is one of the bikes I've reviewed lately and I'm giving it away. And that's on Indiegogo right now, I did a review. It's coming out soon and I'm giving that bike away. And also, that Psy Rusher is going to be given away. There's a bike from Rattan. Yeah, I'm going to give that one away. And here's another one from the Electric Bike Company. And you guessed it, I'm going to give that one away as well. Instead of selling it to you, I can't just give it to you. 
You're gonna give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yours. Why would you do that? It was Doug from Oklahoma City. So congratulations, Doug. We've already chatted on the phone and his electric bike is already on the way to Oklahoma. And number six, we put out videos on tools, tips, upgrades, basically anything about e-bikes. 35 videos were released in total and it's going to be even more for 2020. Second time around, I'm going to use a valve stem core remover. I'm going to install the new pedal assist on the left side, but I'm not quite decided on what the other tools included should be. So that's where you come in. This is a Ruroc helmet, and although it's really designed for snowboarding, I wanted to know if this would make a good helmet for electric bikes. It's Tool Tuesday at Bolton E-Bikes, and today you're getting a twofer. One of the things I mentioned is a shift sensor. As much as I'd like to go outside and do a nice bike review today, that noise you can hear in the background is the rain and it's pouring. So this seemed like a perfect time to tell you three things you should know before you ride your e-bike in the rain and one thing you should never do. And number seven, the number one video for me for Bolton e-bikes was 10 things you should know before buying an electric bike. And that video alone racked up well more than 500,000, half a million, however you want to put the number, that video got watched a lot of times. So I think it's time to do a follow-up here soon. So watch out for that coming up. There are 10 things you should know before buying any e-bike. Number 10 on the list, and the first thing you need to decide is the level of service. Number nine is going to be upgrades and aftermarket parts. Number eight, power. Let's talk about motor types. Number six, pedal assist and throttle. Next up, you should know the difference between a rotation sensor and a torque sensor for your pedal assist. Number four is going to be battery quality. Next, I would look at the battery style. Is it something proprietary or not? And number two, which is yet another point about batteries, is battery capacity. And that is range claims don't matter. And before we go on this video, I just want to say again, thanks for subscribing. Click that button right down there. Make sure to click it. And... What do we have in store for 2020? Well, I don't want to spoil everything, but just a few sneak peeks. I did mention that there was going to be some new media format, some new way to enjoy Bolton e-bikes. These videos are coming out every Thursday. That other media format will be coming out every Tuesday starting in February, and more details on that will be announced before then. So stay tuned. That'll happen. It's going to be awesome. And of course, it's a new year, so there will be new bikes coming out too. I'm not going to spoil that surprise yet, but just be aware that by the time springtime hits, there's going to be more powerful, more awesome e-bikes to get from Bolton e-bikes. Thanks again for watching. I will see you again next Thursday.